You do realize you actually have to be funny to call yourself a comedian, right? These videos all would have been 10 times better if you had Natalie in them. That's right. It would have at least given us all something to jerk to. <laughs> I can hear it now, all the shows. Oh, there's Tony again, cracking jerking jokes. <laughs> wow, what a hilarious joke. You really tickled my funny bone. Ooh, I'm hooting and hollering. I was screaming and crying on the floor. And laughter. Funny comedian. Tony is calling Adam's girlfriend a slut. And I mean, he's not wrong, but... There's a funny twist of irony when you consider the fact that Tony has Adam's cock shoved deeper down his throat than Natalie does. But the key difference is... Natalie is actually honest about it. Tony the Tiger started his whole channel because he was big sad over this man-child refusing to be his BFF. He wanted making contact to turn into the next carpetbagger. I mean, I, I don't understand how Tony can sit there and pretend he hates Disney vloggers when that loser put out a video pretending to talk to Walt Disney from beyond the grave. What you're about to see has never been done before. I'm here in an attempt to try making contact with the late, great Walt Disney. You can use this device to communicate with us. Is there anything you want to say to the millions of fans around the world? Tony the Tiger is a fucking loser. Damn, Walt Disney spitting straight fucking facts. Man, you know you're down bad when fucking Jay Stason makes better fake horror content than you do. We're doing the Ouija board challenge on my dead girlfriend. Let's smash the like button right now, guys. One like equals one prayer for Alexia, guys. Rest in peace. And don't get me wrong, I can appreciate a good bullying video as much as the next guy. But there's actually gotta be some weight behind your words, some oomph to your punts. You actually have to be funny and, uh not even more pathetic than the people you're making fun of. I can't believe you, Tony. The horrible things you say, you're so mean. So yeah, Tony wants to commit to playing this big mean asshole character on YouTube. That's great, yay. You know, I love making neckbeards and Karens upset on the internet. I consider it a hobby of mine. Problem is, you can't play a decent heel when you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> What's going on there, Moon Dog? You got everybody mad at you all in your business? I'm gonna delete my Patreon page. Oh my god, he still has his Patreon page! <laughs> Moon Dog's deleting comments. Hey folks, don't take it personal. He deletes Tony the Tiger's comments too. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to give you a big fat no on that one. You see, Tony, in order for Adam to be deleting your comments like you're trying to claim to make yourself seem more important than you actually are, you'd actually have to be directly involved in the drama, directly involved in the criticism. And, well, you've been dead silent while I've been making videos, and my audience has been leaving comments. The only comments I've seen getting deleted are the comments I've been leaving on your channel, hence you being a fucking pussy. You're unfunny, you have these insane delusions of grandeur. You know if I was committing suicide, I would climb up to the top of your ego and jump off to your IQ. When in reality you peaked as a child, your channel provides zero new insight and is regurgitating the same talking points myself and others like Aaron and Wally and Tony have already made. But you wouldn't lower yourself to comment on those discussions, or to reference those videos. <laughs> Am I the only one who finds any of this stuff to be amusing? <laughs> Why are you acting like this is a brave take to have a week after I put out my videos and have gotten the uh, full extent of the blowback from these crazed Wooians? So it turns out that Disney sensation Adam the Woo has finally deleted his Patreon. And uh, all I can say to that is... <laughs> <laughs> Am I the only one who finds any of this stuff to be amusing? Oh, and, uh, that voice you're putting on is actually causing blood to leak out of my ear. Just stop, man. It's not quirky. It's not cute. It's fucking annoying. I think Billy Rance did it best. Knights for Tony the Tiger. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up, Jew kid! 
I hate your Monica piss. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to go to Disneyland now. It's $150 for a can of... Shut the fuck up. Uh, I always talk like kind of straining with the voice, you know, as I'm fucking Germanic. Oh, I hate that. I hate that fucking channel. I think the only somewhat funny joke Tony was able to come up with in the past couple weeks is the idea of him and Carpetbagger getting together and jerking off to Natalie's OnlyFans. Uh, honestly, I've been jerking off too. Uh, here's a video that I've been jerking off to for the better half of a couple years now. Look, look at my channel. Do you see any videos up anymore? No. You know why? Because of people like Dum Dum Do Kid and Dumb Mark Embarrassing Jones. You two are so mentally unstable, you've taken it way too far. Some of you OG viewers of the channel from the bottom of YouTube era might be wondering to yourselves, is Demonic angry? Is Demonic mad that Tony the Tiger was making fun of my dead mother? Hey, it's Little Orphan Do Kid. How you doing, Little Orphan Do? Maybe I was being a little harsh there, little orphan do kid. You know what? I'm gonna do something nice for you. I'm gonna make a website just for little orphan do kids, just like you. And don't worry, there won't be a home page. Was attacking both of my ex girlfriends when he's literally old enough to be both of their fathers. And the answer to that is, yeah, fuck that guy. When Tony the Tiger dies, I'm going to his funeral and doing a Jay Stason Ouija board 3 a.m. challenge. Light up your face with gladness I'm gonna agree to our success